Divine woman, rest your weary eyes and worries. Set them aside, woman, for an older version of yourself to worry about. You are welcome to step off of the pedestal they have placed you on. Breathe, release the tension in your shoulders, neck, back. The battles will always be there. So when clench your fists and place hands into prayer pose and thank yourself for how hard you have worked to get here to this moment. Divine woman, super kind woman, kind of woman who doesn't take too kind to people who tell her to be kind and neat and smile, please, when she grinds in these capitalist streets so she can feed her babies, who is working so hard to love herself after decades of unsolicited advice, woman, who is called every objectifying name in the book, but returns the book to its owner, has never been much of a fiction reader, woman, loud woman. Not a femme bot plot twist and twerk and bend for you fantasy, living to appease the male gaze, lying naked underneath willow tree, docile, sweet, submissive, whispering, never yelling, cooking, never burning, bridges. Expected to do it all woman, but she doesn't feel full off these capitalist calories. She has a hunger for community, for connection, was born in a system that fed her lies. But she is a more than enough woman. They gave her a manual on how to be a good, real woman, yet they want to pluck and wax off all her realness, put her on a diet, tone her voice down, but she knows she's a goddess, and no goddess would dare remove parts of herself, make herself less goddess-like. Divine woman, beautiful mind, woman, not a forget-me-not, but a woman you remember. She is the whole fire, not just the embers kind of woman. Her body's cells are derived from pre-colonial contact, cannot be owned or told what to do. Her parts are not a reference point for abuse or patriarchal profit. She's a prophet of poetry, of self-love, of raging against the system that covers her breast as if it exposed its secrets, makes them uncomfortable seeing it in a baby's mouth, but not if it's wrapped in Victoria's Secret and Divine Woman knows that to heal from the patriarchal melting pot is to get out of the pot, is to stir the pot, knows that it is not enough to say sorry or not all men, is to unlearn sexism rooted in colonialism, is to provide reparations, is to love all women, to respect all women, that's trans women, disabled women, gay women, straight women, fat women, skinny women, loud women, quiet women, masculine women, sexual women, asexual women, black women, indigenous women. To acknowledge your existence is because of women. This is for the women who want to have kids, the women who don't, the married women, the women who won't, the working moms, moms that don't work, the women who wear makeup and the ones that have made up their mind that their freckles are too fine to cover. Not hard to find woman, because she's listening to this poem right now. I see you, divine woman. And so please stop placing her on a pedestal. She will always desecrate it, set it to flame. She exists to exist and doesn't need to make it pretty. She isn't merely a vibe, but a whole frequency that radiates love, magic, womanhood, and divinity. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got one more poem, and this is sort of a part two to Divine Woman, because I know how much women love that poem. <laughs> so this one is called Ode to the Woman I Am Today. Here lies another poem dedicated to the magic and divinity that is woman. And I'll make 700 more and 700 more after that. Here lies a badass woman, a fierce woman, carrying legacies like they are her children on her back woman, overthrowing the powers like she's a shot put Olympian, is what my headstone will say, hopefully. See, when you've spent the better half of your days, your 20s, repainting your walls for a boy and stalling stained glass roses in every window, throwing out dozens of welcome mats for every new one, changing my pillows, my morals, my values to match his taste, 
one who didn't know beauty and architecture or design in the first place, whose palette was of Pepto-Bismol, not of poise, oh, some of these boys, who called my body a temple but wouldn't pray at my feet. Next, please, is now my mantra. No longer pick me, please, because I'm not your flower to be picked. Your Valentine's Day roses on the prick, on the stem. I mean, patriarchy system. I'm a power to be nurtured and honored. I stay rooted for my sons and my daughters, and you stay rooting for me from afar, sir. My body is not a temple. She is the prayer, the one who belongs to me, whom stays safe behind my teeth, and you will be lucky if I send prayers your way, sir. First, study the scripture that is woman, that is mystic, because you don't understand it. You claim you love her, but your actions have killed her. The woman I am today doesn't st st stutter when telling you what she needs, doesn't chew on lip that feeds his ego, polished his neck like a trophy. I deserve a trophy for not being his trophy wife. This trophy life is celebrated every day. The woman I am today doesn't compare myself to other women because how are you going to compare two greats, the sun to the moon, light with more light to life-giving energy? You simply cannot. So stop trying to miss. Here, read this poem. Have you forgotten this? Your magic, sis. The woman I am today wears a dress on Monday, sweats on Tuesday, a smile on Thursday, or his apology on Wednesday, and middle fingers on Friday, because she remembered who she was last night, a goddess. You got this. The woman I am today started falling in love with herself again, took a honeymoon to the coast with herself again, started to remember her purpose, her sisterhood, motherhood, our collective liberation. And for that, she is bold. She isn't quiet when she is told. She knows what she wants and needs and expects nothing less. She is brilliant, sexy, sweet, kind, divine, she is diabolical in her beauty. She is woman. She is woman. She is woman. She is magic till she dies. Here lies another poem dedicated to the magic and divinity that is woman, that is mystic. And if you ever forget it or you don't understand it, I'll make 700 more after that for you and 700 more after them. And that's a scripture I'll read in praise again and again. Thank you.